All right, welcome back to the second half of Relationship Thursdays on K24 TV with me, Shiko Kaitani. I've got Mark Vichachi in studio. I'm sure you know him as a political analyst, but believe it or not, surprise, surprise, he does a thing or two about matters of the heart. And we are, of course, uh, talking a little bit about his new book that's out known as Finding Eden. And we'll be telling you how you can access a copy of this particular book should you wish to obviously know about the path to true love. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, we're asking, do you believe that true love exists at K24 TV is how you can reach us. There is the question of the day on your screen. Do you believe that true love exists? We're getting so many responses on this. You will not believe how such a simple question <laughs> has managed to garner all sorts of, you know, responses because people's perspective on love is so different yes. and mark getting back to what you were saying that mm. we need to be able to analyze between a quality a quantitative a quali your quantitative life and your qualitative yes. life yeah and, and and you see a lot of the time mm -hmm. we 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 want and and this is becoming more and more reality we want our relationship our, our marriage our dating to be to answer all our questions so mm -hmm. you find girls who want your relationship to answer your finances to answer your biological needs to answer your social needs yeah. you know mm -hmm. so basically you're saying that i want my finances to be sorted out i want people to see that i'm dating the right person wow. and i want society to accept that i'm in the right stature mm -hmm. by virtue of a singular relationship mm -hmm. then what happens is you forget yeah. that there is stature that is gotten out of achieving something in society mm -hmm. there's a stature that is gotten from going to school right. there's a stature that is going gotten from being a generous person yeah. and those are quantitative issues right. but they're also qualitative issues mm -hmm. uh, who's holding you when you're down mm -hmm. who's in encouraging you when yeah. you're down who 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 holds you mm -hmm. when you when it's cold and and those are the things that now we no longer consider yeah. as basic necessities mm -hmm. yet mm -hmm. the world health organization is literally considering uh, loneliness as a pandemic really yes because <laughs> humanity today is suffering from chronic loneliness right the, the science says mm -hmm. that the basic human being needs at least 20 close friends okay 20 mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. if you ask the people watching at home yeah. how many close friends do you have yeah. if they can count to five it's a miracle <laughs> that means that the burden you're putting on your spouse yeah. on your relationship yeah. is excessive wow. Wow. One person can't be all of those things. You cannot answer your problems. Exactly. Yeah. So then oh, you, you, you are ignoring mm -hmm. your qualitative, you yeah. know, the quality of life questions. Mm -hmm. And then heaping your quantitative questions as well on one human being. Don't nobody want to be that? What? Even Jesus had more friends than <laughs> exactly. many of us. Yes. So... <laughs> If you, if, if you look at the psychology of it, and, and yeah. I did a lot of research on this, if you look at the psychology of it, one of the issues that we are having, mm -hmm. and why people are saying I don't believe in true love and things like that, is because the demand you place on your spouse yeah. is excessive. Wow. Okay? Wow. So if you're a man, yeah. go get some male friends uh -huh. who, who you can talk to and laugh with and, mm -hmm. and do all of those things. Instead of expecting your wife to like Arsenal and cry with you when they are beaten and you know <laughs> at the same time <laughs> console you when you're broke, it doesn't right. work it like doesn't that. Work. Okay, Joshua yes. from Kirinyaga is on the line. Let's hear what he has to say. Uh, Joshua, good morning. Morning, Chico. I had a feeling you'd call. <laughs> yes, say, say hi to Mark Vichachi. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm really surprised that uh, I've known Mark to be a very good political analyst. <laughs> yes. Now, I didn't know that he's also a love doctor. <laughs> <laughs> By the now, way, very this, intellectual for well, love discussions, okay. right? Now, to, to this love, Maneno Chico. Yeah. This is my stance. Mm -hmm. Anything that cannot be perceived by the five human senses yeah. and cannot be proven, mm -hmm. cannot be quantitatively uh, proven, mm -hmm. does not exist, okay? Why? Human beings are 
are engineered in such a way that we are social beings. Yeah. And the fact that we are social means that there is a tendency of us coming together mm -hmm. and we come together because there are some attributes that we see in the other person that we would like to have within our, our, our securities of life. Yeah. And that is what people misconstrue to be love, okay? Uh -huh. Human beings are animals like any other animal and the fact that love does not exist among other animals means that it does not also exist among the human race. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is, that is my contribution. Chico. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Joshua is quite the philosopher. No, uh, so this is a social construct that we have. Huh? Uh, what do you think? Except love can be tested uh, chemically because yes. we know that endorphins and certain chemicals flood our brain yeah. when we fall in love and, and things like that. But secondly, yeah. dolphins, elephants uh, have been shown mm -hmm. to demonstrate the same characteristics mm -hmm. of, of, of love. Yeah. And, and, and what is critical to remember that, that indeed love is a qualitative substance. Mm -hmm. You cannot test someone's blood and say he has 50% love. <laughs> yes. But the reality also is, and he said it, for society to exist, mm -hmm. there must also be that sense of affection mm -hmm. and affiliation yeah. that, that brings us uh, together. Mm -hmm. Now, the question then becomes is my like for Shiko as yeah. a friend, how does it change to being in love with Shiko as a lover? Yeah. And, and the question then is answered, and mm -hmm. to answer Nick's question, mm -hmm. is the ideology of do we fall in love or does love pre-exist? Yeah. Okay? Mm. And there's a reason why I say pre-exist. Now, a lot of people uh, stumble into love. You yeah. know, mostly if you are a man, you, this is how you stumble into love. <laughs> Wondering eyes, yes. <laughs> yes, you know. Uh, but but what, what love is, and, and I, I used to have trouble with this, when my religious teacher would say, mm -hmm. love God. And I'd be like, so when did I fall in love with him? Because mm. <laughs> if I fall in love, yes. <laughs> then you, you're one of those students even teachers like ah, now even you ask too many questions. Exactly. Just know this is what it is. I got kicked out of many a Bible study for such questions. Yes, uh -huh. but the reality is this: yeah, how you're brought up, mm -hmm. how you 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 perceive your environment, tells you what you will think love is when it happens. This is true. Yeah. Mm. So, for example. It's Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. If you are my mother's age, you wake up and you go to work as usual. <laughs> <laughs> if you are our age, right. you, you discover red things and you spend the entire day yeah. waiting for the roses to come. Yes. And, and therefore, we must understand that how we are brought up mm -hmm. affects love and, and uh, sexuality more than anything else. And you know that's the thing, I'm sorry to cut you short because yeah. I did put this down in terms of what we are exposed to as yes. we are growing up. Yes. Our men socialize differently around the issues of relationships than women because look at us, you people are taught to explore. Yes. You know, and that's the, yeah. now that's where the, the turning that, 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 comes that's in. That's how we fall in But up. women <laughs> are raised to believe in Prince Charming. Yes. To come. Yes. And so Mills and Boons, oh, and, that and we Cinderella to read. from day yes, one. Yes, those Mills and Boons books that we used to read in yes. high school are the ones that actually shape your... Or, let yeah. me give you a worse one. Yeah. That if you actually manage to keep your virginity intact until the wedding day... Yeah. You, you fixed your marriage. Like, <laughs> like, I gave you my virginity, my marriage is okay. Yes. It is perfect. Right. Now, you see, it is those things that we believe mm -hmm. that actually affect marriage even more. Right. Because people do not get married to reality, mm -hmm. they get married to an imagination. This is the thing. And that mm. is the biggest issue in marriage and sexuality. Yeah. When you see Nick saying that he goes home and his wife does not expect him mm -hmm. to, 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 to have their conjugal rights with her. He must understand that he is no longer the imagination she had when she married him. Mm -hmm. he, ha he has not lived up to that expectation. Whether that expectation has been changed by someone else who's upped the game. Yes. And you know, upping the game is very easy. Yeah. You know, a lady has never received flowers. Suddenly, this gentleman is giving flowers. Absolutely. A man has never been told how handsome he is because mm -hmm. he married those women mm -hmm. who believe that men should not be told nice things. Yes. And so he finds someone else <laughs> who tells him that. And the next day, he's in love. And, yes, and yes. Uh, Lynn, Lynn from Nairobi is on the phone. <laughs> Let's see what she has to say. Uh, Lynn, good morning. Hello. 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 
Yes, hi. Uh, I'm going to ask my director to just turn up the monitor slightly so that I can hear. Lynn, Lynn, good morning. Morning, Shiko. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Okay, you're talking to Evelyn. Yes, Evelyn. Okay, I had a question. Uh huh. For example, first of all, I don't believe in love. Mm -hmm. Why so? Why so? Is <laughs> Credit to Misha from what I understand. <laughs> But she, she sounds deflated. Though. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and that's the issue. You see, when, when you get married to an imagination versus a reality. So, yeah. so, so let me give you an example, right? My, my, a lot of men um, who were brought up African mm. uh, will not buy you flowers. Yeah. And uh, like my dad, Yanni, if he tells you he loves you, it's, mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's a blue moon, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know he loves you, yeah. right? Um, and so, if you get married to such a man, mm -hmm. but your expectation is Vin Diesel in, uh, yeah. in, in uh, Fast and Furious, mm -hmm. and you don't get that expectation, then what your mind does is it begins to look for someone who will meet your expectation. So what are you saying? We are the ones who put their own roadblocks? Yes. Okay. Because you see... You, you have imagined how a thing should be. Yeah. So if it is another way, not necessarily the wrong way, what your mind begins to do is it begins to be disappointed yeah. over and over. Mm -hmm. So for example, if you want flowers and then you are taught this thing called love language, yeah. so you, your expectation is flowers mm -hmm. and you're sitting there waiting for flowers and then someone buys you a brush. Yeah. Right? And you have no idea what a brush is and yeah. where to put it. Yeah. You will feel unloved. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But when you marry reality, and, and this is the principle that, 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 that I adapt, you've got to get to the point. Yeah. And uh, there used to be this song, American Cadet Sing. Mm -hmm. This is my gun. Mm -hmm. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Mm. In other words, to realize there are many women out there, there are very many men out there. Yeah. This one of mine has certain problems mm -hmm. okay they could be a cheat yeah they could be home too early because mm -hmm. people complain hey my wife she's always in the house she's Others boring yes yeah so whatever issues mm -hmm. good or bad right. you must then accept that that is your portion yeah. and then decide for yourself mm -hmm. whether this is the portion i want to live with okay. however mm -hmm. when someone decides mm -hmm. that the, 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 the love that you give yeah. is no longer potent enough for them. Mm -hmm. And this happens a lot. Yeah. A woman can leave you and stay. Right. That's what's happening to Nick. Right. The wife left. Yeah. She's gone. Whether mm -hmm. she went with someone else or she's just gone in her mind, yeah, she's, she's gone. Yeah, she's checked out mentally. So she's yeah. not available. Yeah. So the, he is coming home with the expectation, again, imagination, that because you signed a certificate or we've stayed together for X number of years, yeah. when I show up home, I mm -hmm. expect you to treat me the way I imagine. But that's not there but anymore. That's not but the it's, case. It, anyway, it brings us back to the point from the beginning that for those of us who are ready to reboot, mm. flush out yes. things and start all over again, yes. are the ones who stand the test of time. Exactly. We've got text messages as your friend <laughs> Jeff Koinange likes to say, they're coming in <laughs> thick and fast. <laughs> <laughs> but before we do, Jackson from Embo is on the line. Jackson, good morning. Good morning, Tishiko. Yes, do you have a question or a comment? Okay, my, my question is... Yeah. Okay, I would like maybe to, first of all, to comment that those who are saying that love does not exist. Mm -hmm. To me, I really believe that love really exists. It depends on how, you know, love, we usually say it's reciprocal. Yeah. You show me love, I show you love. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. those ones who are, who, are, who are saying that love does not exist, it all depends on how you, because there is no way mm -hmm. you, can, uh, you cannot show me love and then you expect me to, to, to reciprocate. Ah, right. Okay, I get your point. Thank you, uh, Jackson, for that. Uh, and so okay. for, for those who are, who are the naysayers saying that love does not exist, you yourself, are you ready to give what you want in return? Yes. Uh, and so let's take a look at what Kenyans have to say um, in regards to our topic uh, today, Mark, and uh, their message to you. Um, uh, hello, K24. I'm Ibrahim. I married my wife two years back, and now my marriage is on the rocks. 
And I feel like stepping out of it, we have been faithful to each other and I have remained faithful even after discovering that my wife is cheating on me. I have been praying about it for her to see the love and care I have for her. True love is out there and is only people go, go into a relationship with a mind fixed on breaking up and not the success of it. Hey, Shiko and Bichachi, I don't believe in love anymore. I used to be married to this guy for two years. He cheated all the time. And every time I would find out, he would beg for forgiveness. But his behavior never ceased. One day I went and never returned. Honestly, I hated men since then. One advice to all women, never invest with sons of Jezebel. Love is a scam. That's Hannah from Kikuyu. Wow. Hi, Shiko. I am Ruth and I have been married for seven years. I believe in love and I still love my husband. The reason I am still in love is that I always remember why I got married to him. And I put myself in his shoes. And most importantly, I know he's just a man. And I am human too with multiple flaws. So if he can endure me, I can endure him. Lastly, trust is important. Okay. People say love is the foundation to a successful relationship. Well, I disagree. Trust is the foundation to a successful relationship. And in our generation, trust is a scarce commodity. Wow. The, the, the thing that stuck in my mind yeah. is what, um, I think it was Ibrahim, mm -hmm. who said that his wife is cheating and yeah. he's, he's stayed. Yeah. And, and, and I'd like to start there. Mm -hmm. Fidelity or infidelity mm -hmm. is not the measure of marriage. Okay. Because when you say sons of Jezebel, yeah. I would like to remind everyone mm -hmm. that if men are dogs, mm -hmm. who do they dog with? Yeah. <laughs> we must understand that this, and you know of late there's a gender war. Yeah. You know, the, the other gender, and, and I, I find it very nonsensical. Mm. The truth of the matter is this, mm -hmm. that we are human. Mm -hmm. And it is 2020. Mm -hmm. There are open relationships. Yes. There is polyamory. Mm -hmm. There is polygamy. Mm -hmm. There is polyandry. Yeah. Now, one of the things before you get married mm -hmm. that I think people should do yeah. is go to National Geographic and watch a series of documentaries on the subject of taboo. Mm -hmm. Now, there's one particular community in Asia that blew my mind. Yeah. That women don't get married. Mm -hmm. They have multiple children from multiple husbands. And it is the job of the brothers to take care of the children. Wow. Okay? And they don't find anything wrong with their relationship. Mm -hmm. In India, they've got arranged marriages. Right. In, in another uh, part of Asia, again, the father sets up a little hut Yes. For, 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 the, <laughs> for, the, for the daughter mm -hmm. to have lovers over. In Namibia, in 2020, there is a tribe which if you go visit your best friend, mm -hmm. he tells you, please have some tea and also there is the bedroom, my wife is waiting for you. Oh my Lord, okay? yes. So one of the things you must understand mm -hmm. is you must enter marriage with an open mind. Mm -hmm. You must enter marriage with the idea that as a man, right. I may need to forgive my wife's infidelity. Mm -hmm. And vice versa, as a woman, I may need to forgive my husband's infidelity. Right. If you enter marriage with a fixed point agenda, mm -hmm. you're going to lose it. All right. You're going to miss it because, yeah. unfortunately, we are human beings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to spend 20 years with someone, right. I can guarantee you, just like biologically, not a single cell yeah. in their body is the same. Because yeah. every cell has been replaced. <laughs> every five years or so, yeah. the person you're married to is totally different. It's our true. hormones change. We our change. ideas about yeah. life change. Yeah. You go and live in, uh, in Afghanistan. You come back more mm -hmm. conservative. Yeah. You go to Stockholm. You come back very liberal. Yeah. You know, so there's so many things that change. We evolve. Yes. We evolve. And you know, the thing is, I see that coming out so well from how you have described your parents' relationship mm -hmm. in this book. Mm -hmm. Because by no means is he perfect mm -hmm. from, you know, what, we've, what we see but, in this book. You know, how you describe a father figure and, you know, who he was at that time. 
exactly. Yeah. And, and you see that, like I said, every person there is an amalgamation of yeah. my story and many yeah. stories. And, and one of the things and why that part of the book is there mm. is we need to appreciate that there is nothing perfect in any relationship that we see. Right. And if you decide to instead... Uh, from learning from the past, mm -hmm. not of just of yours, but of your parents and others, right. and carry on the mistakes and decide that the mistake is going to be your street light mm -hmm. and you know how to make a decision, mm -hmm. instead of a learning point to continually improve on yeah. the human experiment, you miss the point. Mm. You see, there the, are the, the men like me mm -hmm. who, who, who have had a child out of wedlock, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. There are women who've had children mm -hmm. out of wedlock and, and they're married. Now, if you're not, if you stick there and you decide that you're going to say that because you had a child out of wedlock, I am unable to move from this point, then the loser really is you. Right. Because mm. guess what? If you're going to say because I found my wife texting someone yeah. and telling them how cute they are, mm -hmm. then you're going to forever call them daughters of Jezebel. Guess what? <laughs> yes. There are three billion very nice women yeah. that you're missing out for. Right. Okay. Okay. So as we begin to wind up, mm -hmm. Mark, because I know we can talk about <laughs> this for probably two, three hours. And mm -hmm. I like it because you're such a thinker. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're dealing with a thinker, there's so many aspects to a particular point that yes. we can actually cover. But what is, you know, uh, something that you would call as a take home for mm. our viewers? One is that you said open mindedness yes. because we only have a minute to go. And then, of course, you can tell us how we can access your book. So ah, love, 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 love. Yes. When, when Queen Victoria took over England and colonized um, much of the world, mm -hmm. she, she brought her brand of, of society mm -hmm. to the world. And it has had interesting effects. The birth rate in Japan is going down and mm -hmm. in Korea. And if you look at that, you realize that the biggest effect to your sexuality, your libido, and how you marry is what you believe. Mm. If you're going to succeed, and this is what Finding Eden is about, yeah. it's about the fact that you've got to be able to ask questions and be open-minded mm -hmm. about what you're going to experience in yeah. your true love experience. Wow, beautiful. Where can we get Finding Eden? It, so it's, it's, it's going to be available. I just, just inked a deal with Textbook Center mm. yesterday. Okay. So it's going to be on the Textbook Center website yes. starting from today mm -hmm. evening. Mm -hmm. um, uh, then you can go to my social media, Mark Bichachi. Right. I've partnered with an excellent rider, and you know I like supporting young mm -hmm. people. So an excellent rider will deliver to you. <laughs> it's, it's just 1,200 bob, yeah. and it's supposed to make you ask questions. Ask questions. And it is a gripping read. Yeah. I can tell you that for free mm -hmm. from the feedback I've gotten. Mm -hmm. And guess what? This yeah. is how confident I am. If you don't like the book, if it doesn't grip you mm -hmm. and leave you on the edge of your seats, yeah. money back guarantee. Ha, ha, <laughs> that is such a lie. But <laughs> let me tell you, uh, it is definitely an easy read. I like easy reads. Uh, you are going to learn so much, by the way, including some of the uh, rendezvous that uh, Mark Bichachi found himself, <laughs> including the part where you are just about to source for a very interesting service here. Maybe I shouldn't say it quite yet. No, you, you know, here's the thing. <laughs> Mark, we have to go. We have this, to go. This is the book <laughs> that is called Every Man's Story. Every Man's Story. So I've written every friend, every uh -huh. male person you've ever met <laughs> is in that book. <laughs> All right, so, so as we wind up, in the words of John Legend, we are just everyday people. Keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, thank you so much to Mark Bichachi for stopping by. Get yourself a copy of Finding Eden, A Journey to True Love. Thanks for watching K24 this morning. We appreciate it yet again. Have a beautiful day up ahead. The Daily Brief is up next. Mark, thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> All right. You can actually wave at the audience ah. and be like, bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>